Hello everyone. Welcome back to this channel. Let's discuss about one of the leading causes of death and disability not just in India but all over the world. Stroke. In simple words, brain attack just like heart attack. Now stroke is a very vast topic so let's make it as a series. The most common form which all of you must have heard of is paralysis of one half of the body. Now do watch this video till the end because at the end I'm going to give you some health tips which are required for the management of few of the emergency conditions. World's third leading cause of death and the most common cause of long term severe disability stroke has been on the rise in India. It affects more than a million Indians every year and on an average there is a stroke every 20 seconds in India. And what makes matters worse is that stroke in young has been on the rise. Nowadays we see a lot of patients with stroke who are less than the age of 40 years. First you understand two important terms mortality and morbidity. Now what's mortality? Mortality is death. The number of individuals who are dying because of a certain illness. The morbidity means the patients are not dead but they are left with long term severe disability maybe coma or paralysis. Yes, as you guessed right, stroke has an ill repute of having a very high mortality as well as morbidity. So what exactly happens in stroke? Now stroke can be an anterior circulation stroke or carotid circulation stroke or posterior circulation stroke or vertebro stroke. The most common form which you have heard of that is paralysis of one half of the body is because of anterior circulation stroke. Now the stroke can be because of block of the blood vessel carrying blood from the heart to the brain and hence causing the death of the nerve cells in the brain called as ischemic stroke. This is exactly same as what happens in case of heart attack. Now stroke can also be because of rupture of the blood vessel carrying blood to the brain and hence causing bleeding inside the brain and causing damage to the brain called as hemorrhagic stroke. Now the treatment is completely different for ischemic stroke as well as hemorrhagic stroke. In this video, let's concentrate on ischemic stroke. As such, brain has a very high blood supply which is required for its complex functions. Now, when the blood supply gets affected because of block in the blood vessel, the brain cells start dying and this process is called as infarction. A very important thing about brain is that once the brain cells die, they are damaged permanently. They are not going to come back to normal. Yes, to some extent, their adjacent parts of the brain may compensate for the function of the part of the brain which is damaged, but the damaged part will never become normal again. Hence, it is very important to save the brain in time because before it goes in for irreversible damage. That is why time is everything in case of stroke. Now, you need to understand these things about brain. Brain has a right half, a left half and a very important part called as brain stem. The peculiar thing is that right half of the brain controls the left half of the body. The left half of the brain controls the right half of the body. Among the left and the right, left brain is considered to be more important than the right or in medical terms it's called as dominant because in addition to controlling the right half of the body, it also controls speech that is the ability to speak as well as to understand what is spoken. So obviously if the stroke affects the left half of the brain, then the patient in addition to getting paralyzed on the right side will also have speech deficits. Now coming to brain stem that is the most important part of the brain. It controls the heart, it controls breathing, it is responsible for consciousness, it's responsible for everything. In short, brain stem is life. No brain stem, no life. Now let's try to understand how you can identify subtle signs of stroke so that you can get the patient to hospital in time before he goes in for permanent brain damage. Now there's a famous acronym FAST. Now what is FAST? F stands for facial asymmetry. Is there any asymmetry in the face? Why does this happen? Now just like how there is paralysis of the upper limb, the body or the lower limb, there's also paralysis of the face. Now what happens is the stronger side or the normal side tries to pull the angle of the mouth to its side while the weaker side or the paralyzed side fails to resist it. As a result, there is a deviation of the angle of mouth to one side. The second point is arm. Can they lift both their arm? Which simply means weakness of the arm or it could also be weakness of the leg. The third point is speech. Has it got affected? Now as I already mentioned, can the patient speak or can he understand what is spoken? Or it could also be what is called as slurring of speech. The fourth point is time. Time is critical. It is a time to rush the patient to hospital. Now, in case of stroke, the patient needs to get the treatment within four and a half hours of onset of stroke. Now, this is called as the golden heart. 
Uh, in case of stroke, you need to take the patient and rush to a hospital which has a ready availability of a neurologist which has facility for a CT scan, MRI and preferably also a cat lab. I'll come to this point later. Now if not, at least a CT scan. Now what happens is when you take the patient to a hospital, now neurologist examines the patient, he gets the CT scan and MRI. Why is this done? It is done to confirm the diagnosis of stroke and also to differentiate between an ischemic stroke and a hemorrhagic stroke. Once the diagnosis of ischemic stroke is confirmed and the patient is within the window period that is within four and a half hours of stroke onset, he injects what is called as TPA. Now what does this TPA do? Now TPA gets into the blood vessel and breaks down the clot and hence restores the blood flow to the brain. If this is successfully done and if it is done on time, then the damage to the brain can be minimal and hence there can be reversal of the weakness. Now there is another advanced technique called as mechanical thrombectomy which is done in cath lab. It is done either by a neuroradiologist or by a neurosurgeon who is trained in neurointervention or sometimes by a neurologist who is trained in neurointervention. So what is done in this? Now just like how it is done in case of a heart attack, they pass a small catheter inside the blood vessel and take it till the point of block and then they mechanically remove the clot from there, hence restoring the blood flow. Even in this case, if it is done on time, for this, the time they mention is 6 hours. If it is done within 6 hours, patient can have minimal damage to the brain and hence reversal of his weakness. Now this image is a high quality cat lab which is present in the first neuro hospital Mangalore and these procedures are very routinely done here. As you must have already noticed, a very important thing here is to take the patient to an appropriate hospital in time. It is not enough even if you take the patient within two hours to a hospital which does not have facility for a ready availability of a neurologist or a CT scan or a MRI or for that matter cath lab. Now what happens is in that case you still have to think, decide and waste your precious time in taking the patient from that hospital to another hospital. So a very important tip to all of you here is that you can even note it down. There are a few real, real emergencies where time is everything. You cannot afford to waste a single second if this happens to your near and dear ones in, in asking 10 different people which is the hospital to go, which is the doctor we should approach. No, you can't do that. So what you do is write down these diseases which I am going to tell you now and in front of that write the name of the hospital and the doctor that you are going to consult if this emergency happens to your near and dear ones. You have all the time now, you do all the research, you find out which hospital has a facility to treat these conditions, which doctor is best for you, you decide now because if it happens then you cannot waste a single second in deciding all these things. The first point is stroke. As I already mentioned, because of all these things, you need to get the treatment within four and a half hours and also know who is a neurologist you are going to consult. The second thing is severe head injury. Now it could be because of an accident, it could be because of fall from height or assault or whatever it is. But a severe head injury requires an emergency consultation of a neurosurgeon. Now most of the time it may require an operative procedure so that damage to the brain is minimal and is not irreversible. The third point is any condition of the brain which has made the patient unconscious. Once the patient is unconscious, he needs to get a very urgent medical or surgical attention so that the brain does not go for permanent damage. Now all the three points are related to brain which simply tells you how important the brain is and another thing is that the damage to brain is most of the time permanent. The fourth point which all of you are aware of is heart attack. Now once a patient has heart attack, you cannot waste a single second thinking about which hospital to go and which cardiologist to consult. So you need to take the patient to hospital within the golden hour so that his life can be saved. Coming back to stroke, as I already told, it's a vast topic. We also need to discuss what happens if you reach the hospital after four and a half hours or after six hours. That is the further course of treatment. Then there are a lot of other things like the posterior circulation stroke, hemorrhagic stroke and a very very important point that is stroke prevention. How can you protect your near and dear ones from getting a stroke and then there is stroke rehabilitation. We shall discuss about all these things in the upcoming videos. So guys I hope you like this video, if so give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and relatives and if you want more of such health and wellness related videos please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.